The museum galleries bring the past to life. But down here, in the dark corners of the museum zoology department, it's a graveyard. Rare and exotic creatures through the ages, long dead, are now stuffed and mounted. And here, rubbing shoulders with them, is Bungie the British Bulldog. In his day, he was a canine celebrity. It's not all beer and skittles being a top dog. They had to be spruced up like film stars. But these animals are big business. In exports, they earn a yearly total of half a million pounds. Curator Mark Engstrom knows Bungie well. He may have been the most famous dog, period, in the 1930s. He'd won all the champions. He'd won a, lar a large show in England where there were 4,000 other bulldogs competing against him. He was the champion of show. The champ came to Canada in the summer of 1936 to compete in a Toronto dog show. Big mistake. Unfortunately, there was a heat wave in Toronto one evening, uh, and Bungie died of heat stroke dis despite heroic efforts to try to save him. A champion bulldog, symbol of tenacity and strength, done in by a hot summer's day? How could this be? It's a museum secret. But there are clues in the turbulent history of the breed. 